G'day everyone and welcome to the Infinity Cricket Invitational Game. We've got a great game lined up here today. We've got the Infinity Green team versus the Infinity Blue team with a number of brilliant star players here. The game's just about to get underway and Nuan will tell you a bit more about some of the players we've got here today. We've got some very, very talented ex-international players from all parts of the world. We've got um, Lega Siaka from the PNG yep. and Patrick Matautova from Vanuatu. From Vanuatu, very talented all-rounder. And probably one of our marquee players, we've got a special extra Lanka all-rounder. His name is Kaushalya Wiraratna. He's played 15 one-day internationals for Sri Lanka and one of the highlights of his career is actually dismissing Sachin Tendulkar in one of the matches he's played. So we've got some really, really good players here today. And yeah, we're in for a good day here today. The weather is beautiful. Junction Oval yes. is rocking. The music is going. And it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. So we hope you enjoy it. got the winner in our university cricket comp, Sachin. Sachin Suriwadana, good to have you on the show, man. Now, Sachin, uh, tell us, how did you get selected for to play in the Invitational game today? Well, um, I represented um, RMIT in the indoor comp, and out of I got the most best on ground so, for the games we played, and because of, um, because of my great performance at the indoor comp, I got selected for the Infinity Tour comp. Sounds pretty good, man. Now, you played in the Infinity Green Team. Green Team. Now, tell us about your experiences. How was it like playing with some of these uh, 
ex-players who played, you know, first class and uh, international cricket. What was it like playing alongside them? Did you learn anything special that could perhaps develop your cricket? De definitely, mate. Uh, it was it was in absolutely crazy just playing with players from West Indies, from Papua New Guinea, from Sri Lanka. It was just amazing. And and the fact is that all of them have their different different kind different kinds of advice to help you out. And all of them were so helpful and so kind. It was just absolutely brilliant. The best experience. Nice. Just to wrap up before we, uh, before we leave, um, just tell us a bit about yourself. What are you, an all-rounder, a uh, batsman, bowler? So I am a left-hand bat. I bat around the middle order, and I'm a left-hand off spinner. Nice. So slow left arm. Slow left arm. Hey everyone, we've got uh, Nav, Infinity Cricket founder, and we've also got Ryan Neenan, one of our special guests for today. So um, Nav, t take us a bit through uh, a couple of the special players you've got for us today in the Invitational game. Yeah, so uh, what we decided to do here this year, um, you know, something a little bit different. We tried to connect people through cricket, and the way we do that by inviting some players from a number of different areas. A few of the guys that have had some international experience, um, as well as the best of Premier Cricket, and then also our tournament. So we're really trying to, to get people from mixed um, experiences together and play in this uh, invitational game ahead of the grand final. Yep. And we've got Ryan here with us today. So Ryan, you've played IPL. You've played quite higher level of cricket compared to me at Sub District here and uh, Nuan down there in Lynbrook. So um, just tell us, what was it like playing in the IPL, rubbing shoulders of some of the brightest, brightest and best in world cricket? Uh, well, I think uh, when I got my first IPL contract, I was 21, and yeah, just the shared dressing room with guys like Brett Lee, Sangha Karamaya, that was a different experience. I mean, obviously, I've always aspired to play the highest level of cricket, and I think IPL has given a lot of domestic cricketers that opportunity, and yeah, I don't know. I, I can't really explain the feeling, but I remember when I actually signed my first RPL contract, uh, my manager actually threw a surprise for me and I actually, was <laughs> actually couldn't even sign the contract because my hands were shivering, I was so excited <laughs> actually got the contract, so yeah, it was pretty good, it's a lovely feeling and I think a lot of young creators should actually aspire to actually play the highest level. Oh, yeah, uh, just a few more questions, like, what, was it, uh, what was some of the experiences you gained from playing alongside Mahela Sangakara? Um, But yeah, I think uh, playing at the Hawthorne Hawks, we've got a young bunch, and it's been a lot of fun so far, it's my first two months here, so I guess the experiences I've ever had in the IPL in a way have kept me in good stead here, because I think now cricket is just second nature for me, so even though I haven't practiced as much as I've wanted to, I've actually sort of enjoyed just sort of being out there with the guys, just enjoying the process, because sometimes I guess towards the end of the IPL, I was in the position where I was part of the squad, but I wasn't playing too many games, so I think after a while you realize the process is more important than anything else. I've actually enjoyed my time here and sharing all my experience with the younger blokes in Hawthorne Hawks. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for your time, Ryan. So really. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Thanks so much.
so that was the Invitational game. Infinity Green topping Infinity Blue by 14 runs. For the green side, Wiratne made a brilliant 55, well supported by Blake who made an unbeaten 52, with Fernando taking 3 wickets. For the blue side, Hesham Said an unbeaten 55, well supported by a blistering 46 by Papua New Guinean pro Legacy Arca and a brilliant effort by Khan to pick up 5 wickets. We've also got another special player here at the Infinity 2020 Grand Final. Um, Lega Siaka is a very promising young cricketer for Papua New Guinea. Lega, it's great to have you. Thank you. You know, you say that your style of play is similar to that of Michael Clark. You know, <laughs> where does uh, you know, is, is he one of your favourite players? Like, who who are the uh, cricketers that you look up to? Uh, I think Michael Clark is my favourite player. Yeah. I like I, I like how he plays the spinners and places. I like his uh, footwork, yeah. and that's why I like Michael Clark. So, yeah, he's a much better player. Nice. Well, Lego, it's great to uh, have you on the show today. Thank you for your time. Uh, and, uh, thank you. We'll see you soon. G'day everyone, we're here with our other finalist of the University Cricket Competition, Edward Pereira. Now, Edward is an all-rounder, he plays for the Melbourne Mustangs. And, um, yeah, so Edward, tell us, tell us a bit more about your playing style. Are you more of a batter or a bowler in your all-rounding play? Uh, I would say I used to be an all-rounder, but I'm much more of a bowler now. Hopeless bat at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, right. Well, you, we, you, had a, you had a bowl in the game, and your first ball got sort of belted over mid-wicket for a six. What exactly was going through your head then? Uh, it was just highlights of back in the day when I was playing for the 17 ones. Oh, he played ones, that's what he's trying to say. <laughs> uh, I was a vice captain as well. Thanks. Vice captain. Leadership potential, plays ones, uh, really good dress sense. This man's got it all. Yeah, and um, it was the first ball of the first game, first of the season. I got hit for a no ball six, seven runs off the board, not even a single ball, technically balls. So that was just going through my head, and I just hope it wasn't another six. Well you, 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 well, you came back quite well. You only conceded one more boundary for the rest of the over. So how would you describe the experience of, I guess, playing at Junction Oval, playing on this sort of wicket where you can actually dive and not break an arm? So how would you say it was? It was pretty good. Like, it was amazing. Like, I actually got to do what I wanted to do well. Um, like, I, w I was pitching in the spots I wanted, but unfortunately, it was just a really good batsman. <laughs> and uh, did you feel any pressure, especially given that Nav threw you the, b threw you the ball in the 19th over of the innings, having not probably not told you he was going to bowl you that late? <laughs> um, it, was, it was quite a bit of pressure. Like, I didn't want to get hit too many runs, but it went off all right. Got one wide, but oh well. Oh, well, you did very well, mate. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it.
Hey guys, welcome back. Now today on the show we've got a special guest with us. It's none other than the founder of Infinity Cricket, um, Navneet. It's good to have you on the show, mate, Navneet. Now you know you you uh, you started Infinity Cricket a couple of years ago. Now tell us what was the vision behind uh, creating this foundation. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we started the first event in 2011. I think the whole idea was to try and do something different at the grassroots level. Uh, Infinity Cricket's vision at that point in time was essentially uh, connecting people through cricket. So we decided to run 2020 events, um, it being two and a half hours in length was sort of an ideal format. But the beauty of it is you get to choose uh, your own team. So it can be comprised of your mates um, or those from your club or work colleagues. Uh, and essentially string them together, uh, play in a sort of a social format where we combine entertainment with competitive cricket uh, in, a, in a sort of a fluid format over summer. It's definitely the most exciting way to get people involved through cricket. Uh, so just tell us a bit, you know, how's, how's Infinity Cricket been progressing through the last few years as it's been going on? So when we started in 2011, I've got I to gotta be honest, uh, it was more sort of a concept. Um, we, we just wanted to put it out there and see whether we would get a little bit of interest. Uh, we had 14 teams in that inaugural event, uh, but then since then we've just sort of progressed and you know added new features. Um, and, and over the years we've had more teams and players participate, which is which is great. That that sounds great, Navneet. Now uh, today we're at the final actually of the 2014 Infinity Cricket uh, 2020 tournament. Um, so tell us what how's that tournament been going for you so far? Yeah, so um, this particular event we've had um, 54 matches. Um, 7,950 match minutes actually, um, and uh, yeah, some some uh, some crazy numbers there. We've had a guy that's um, scored two centuries, uh, Lucky, who's actually batting um, batting behind, um, and we've had some fantastic performances. So this this event over here actually, um, we've played it across um, two regions and uh, seven venues, um, culminating with the final obviously here at the, the Junction Oval. Now just before the final, ladies and gentlemen, we also. Uh Navneet was lucky enough to organise an invitational match where uh, past players, uh, first class players who have had considerable international experience of, as well have been lucky enough to come down here and play an exhibition match for us as well. Nav, tell us about how you got those guys involved with Infinity Cricket. So I guess it's all about, again, you know, the theme about connecting people through cricket. Um, great opportunity to play uh, at an awesome venue. Um, so it wasn't really hard to get the buy-in from these individuals. Um, a lot of them had heard about it or knew someone that, um, that knew something about Infinity Cricket, which was good. Uh, but the best part of it is we had um, you know, players of the calibre of Kaushal Viratna, obviously had um, played 15 matches for, for Sri Lanka in ODIs um, and 113 first-class matches as well. Um, added to that, we had um, Lega Siaka, who's the, who's the best batsman in the Papua New Guinea team. Uh, Patrick Matatava, who's... Um, uh, a leading bowler in the Wanawatu national team so I guess it's great to see the associate nations pick up that's the future of cricket and obviously mixing up with players from the grassroots level um, does one thing and that's basically to drive the passion um, at the grassroots level which is which is great. That sounds excellent Nav and just to finish off you know uh, where do you think Infinity Cricket is headed for the future what is the what are the future goals of uh, you know, your, your, your foundation? So I think, um, you know, if, if there's one line that can sum it up, it's plant seeds grow for us. Um, we're at a stage where we've laid a foundation um, and, and I guess it's just about uh, continuing that journey and, and essentially the next step would see ourselves um, to establish a winter tournament that's taking place August to September this year and then perhaps, fingers crossed, um, launch another event in, in another city which could be either Sydney or Adelaide um, for the second half this year. So Dylan, you wanted about 140, 150. Looks like they've split that exactly on 144. How do you reckon you guys went with the ball? Uh, no, we went to pretty good. Um, fielding was a bit wayward. Probably worse with fielded, but uh, yeah, we'll take that. I mean, a couple of dropped catches, but it doesn't seem to have hurt you too much on the scoreboard. So what's the plan out there now? Attack from the start or sort of build? Uh, just got to do the same things they did. Just start off nice and slow and um, see how the, how the pitch is playing, how the bowlers are doing things and see how we go from there. So how did you find the outfield and the pitch in general? Uh, the pitch was quick, it was doing a little bit um, early on, and then the outfield was just lightning, but get that with carpet. All the best mate, good luck. Thanks. So um, you wanted 144, is that sort of what you're looking for? Uh, actually, like um, according to the pitch and the field, like, I was thinking probably 160, so probably 15, 20 runs short. But obviously, like I just said to you earlier, like, we have a good bowling strength, so we're going to make it uh, use our bowling like, properly and we make sure like uh, make it hard for them. And I'm um, still confident like uh, we can defend this. So because um, um, good bowling strength and obviously we have a variety of the bowlers like um, different left arm, right arm spinners. So see what happens like uh, obviously we have to we have to feel 
battle and um, just make it make it like a probably have a good win for us again. So how how did you feel the pitch was? Did you feel it was a bit faster or slower than you thought? I think like the pitch is a sporty pitch. Like it's good for bowlers, good for batting. So um, and obviously like it's um, one, of, one of the best ground in Melbourne. So uh, the good track for us. It's and um, yeah, it's gonna be like a, if bowlers bowl on the right spot, so we're, we're gonna have like a good chance here. Yeah. So that's the plan, just bowl tight lines and try and restrict them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're gonna put the pressure on, and uh, first six overs is gonna be very important for us. Like, so we're gonna work hard for first six, six overs and then see where we're at, and then we're gonna just take it from there. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for your time. So we've got Matt with us. Matt's been involved with NAB from the very start with Infinity Cricket. So I guess the first question I have to ask you, how does it feel to see an idea like this that you guys have had blossom into something like this, a turf final at Junction Oval? Yeah, look, so right from the beginning, um, it started, as you said, with an idea. And each year and each event, it's actually evolved a lot. And so now we're up to our fourth event. Uh, we've been running for more than three years. And the difference is astonishing. So from the first year where we still played at Faulkner Park for the grand final, to now where we're on an international grade wicket with two brilliant umpires and two high caliber teams playing on a brilliant deck. Uh, it's great to see and it's good to see all of the enjoyment by the fans and the spectators here today. So I guess going forward, where would you like to see this whole tournament progress to? Um, look, I think it's generated a lot of interest, a lot of buzz around Melbourne. Um, and Melbourne's a great place, a multicultural hub for cricket. But there's the whole world is out there. And, and this product is, has proven to be great and people really enjoy it and value it. And there's no reason why that couldn't push through Victoria's boundaries and even Australia's boundaries. And I guess, how did you guys come about this idea? Because I guess when you first started 2020 cricket, although it was a strong format, it probably it wasn't anywhere near where it is today. And given that... You guys are probably you guys are the only club cricket 2020 tournament that's run where people can just get their mates together and have a good hit. So I guess what 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 drove you guys to start this initiative? So uh, we personally knew quite a lot of people that were keen to play cricket and, and play not necessarily traditional club Saturday Sunday cricket style, but a more 2020 fun, uh, fast-paced, action-packed sport with their friends that they can form and still play competitively. And so that's what we decided to form from the beginning, and it's just grown from there. I guess the last question is, why weren't you out there with Nav today? Uh, well, Nav survived two balls. I think if I was out there, I'd survive no balls. <laughs> Would you give yourself a bowl? I'd bowl myself, um, but I'd probably be told to chase my own six. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Matt. Really appreciate it. Thank
what a final it was. The Western Warriors just getting over the GCC Rebels by only four runs and an absolute thriller. For the Warriors, Singh making 43, Kawaja with 18, and Crawford picking up three wickets. For the Rebels, Jeff caught all the way with 55 unbeaten, well supported by Henkel who made 46 with Lucky Khan picking up one wicket. But what a game it was, the Western Warriors champions in 2014. Infinity D20 Cricket.